Hey guys, I miss G on behalf of Better Bodies and Beyond, where we're all about enhancing your quality of life. Don't forget, guys, hit website, www.betterbodiesandbeyond.com. Check those personal uh, waist trainers out. We have waist trainers for everyone needs, uh, men, women. Um, depends on what you're looking for, body shapers, corsets, uh, back supporters. Uh, we have belly, uh, belly beads, belly, the waist beads. So, guys, check that website out, and uh, hopefully, you know, we've got some something on there to cater to your needs. So, also, I ask that if you guys, if you like this video, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, share, and like. And always click that bell so every time my video comes up, you will be notified. Thank you guys so much. And we're going to go ahead and get right into this video. And today, I'm going to be talking to the ladies. I'm going to be talking to my sisters. We're going to be talking about level up, ladies. When you level up, you'll never be broke emotionally or financially. So I have uh, three pointers that I would like to touch on. And I do have a few notes. I want to make sure that I get everything in. And there's three ways, ladies, to level up. Um, mentally. Physically. And emotionally and I'm gonna touch on first mentally first of all to level up ladies you need to have your mind together you need to have your you know you need to have your your head uh, your head together your thoughts together knowing that life things it's about you it's all about you don't worry about what uh, you know what people say about you or what people think of you because they level up you know you you almost have to have that you know what that mentality so you want to uh, yeah find out what is it that I want in life you don't have to worry about what you don't want because you know what that's life sometimes things just happen in life so don't you know what find out what is what is it that I want in life Hey, begin to write those things down. Visualize what do you see, you know, um, you know yourself having and what do you see yourself doing. I always say, say strive to, uh, to do your own business, to have your own business. Therefore, you never have to worry about getting laid off. Or either, even if you do decide to do a nine to five job or whatever and you have your business, you always have something to fall back on. So you don't have to, you know, to be, you know, like we just come out of really this COVID-19. We're still in there, but, you know, how everybody just pretty much, you know, I mean, thousands and thousands of people were laid off from their job. And a lot of them didn't have anything to fall back on. So that should be a lesson that, you know, um, that that will not happen again. Yeah. And like I said, uh can you, yeah, can you see yourself um, maybe later, you know what, having that Mr. Man um, in your life and, you know, having him to uh, take care of you 100. And I'm not talking about the, um, I'm not talking about the brothers, but I'm talking to the sisters now. So I'm not really into, um, you know, me and talking about that 50-50, you know, trying to help me build. 50 50 I you know I'm looking for someone that can you know what that can, you know that can help me take the stress off I'm not you know I'm, I'm not about the uh you know that that 50 50 thing because you know what you want a guy he you know you're looking for pretty much to me you're kind of looking for a way out or you want to be able to have what you want to have so that's why sometimes even you know leveling up once you level up you know what, you begin to really, you begin to attract, attract different type of men into your life. Because once you, you know what, level up, um, you know, you start, and that's another thing I'm gonna go ahead and get into. The next one is physically. You want to always make sure that, you know, your physical appearance, you know, if you've got extra weight, um, hey, you know, get yourself on a, a, a good eating regimen, um, you know, do uh, whatever it takes 
to get those extra few pounds off of you, do that because we know that men are uh, men are visual. They, you know, they love to. They're attracted to uh, women that are beautiful, women that have uh, curves and the curviness. That's just you know that's just their nature. So um, yeah, try to um, yeah get you know get those few extra pounds off um you know always make sure that you know when you go out you go outside or you go somewhere that you know that you've got your you know your skin is well taken care of your hair is taken care of your nails is taken care of i mean it's okay to have uh, you know your skin but even you know to wear makeup but even underneath your makeup make sure that you know you're using um good cleansers you're using good um makeup remove removers and you, uh, you yeah, know, moisturizers. You're using, real, you know, things to really to take care of your skin, so that you don't end up getting those um, bags, wrinkles, and um, you know, you know, all kinds of, you know, different skin discolorations or skin disorders that can come along sometime with aging. So this, you know, this is not only to the older women, but this is to the young ladies also. Take heed. Take heed. So, and um, yeah, being physical, get your, um, hey, get your, your confident walk on. You know, when you're going somewhere, hey, you know, hold your head up. You know, hold your head up. Keep your belly nice and tight. You're nice and tight. Your shoulders roll back. Have that confident walk that, hey, yes, this is about me. Because when you begin to, like I say, really, you know, tighten things up and uh, look your best. Once you go out, you're going to attract a different, a, a whole different type of man. These dusties, and when I say dusties, I mean guys that you know that you know don't mean you don't mean you any well, or you know he's he's all about maybe looking for a one night stand, or he's already you know got somebody else, but you know he's trying to hit on you. I'm not. Those are those are dusties, but if you're looking for somebody, a man that maybe have a six figures, or that he's looking for someone, um, you know, to have a real relationship with. So, and then the other thing is emotionally, ladies, we, you know, because we're known for being so, uh, you know, we get emotion, so emotion, emotional over a lot of things. And um, you need to learn to um, keep your emotions intact. Um, and that's, you know, sometimes don't get so attached to things in life. Don't get so attached to, to especially men. You know, sometimes, okay, maybe you've been in a relationship and, um, you know, the relationship, it didn't work out. And um, now you're like, oh, you know, hey, I, you know, I, I put so much into that relationship with him. And, you know, now so, you know, he's with someone else and he's hurting me. And, you know, he yeah, he hurt me. He did this. Ladies, you know what? Let it go. You know, because obviously, you know, if, you know, if, if he has left, then, you know, he didn't mean, you know, he didn't mean you any good anyway. He wasn't, he wasn't for you. So learn to, you know, in the beginning, do not invest. A lot into him until you know that there's you know that there's a, it's a solid relationship don't invest a lot of your emotions and your time into him let let it be reversed let him invest into you if he invests into you do things for you buy things for you you know buy things for you take care of your bills you know give you money this and that and the other you know i mean he's not gonna be so apt to just to up and just in and leave so just don't you know what hold your horses you know don't get so emotionally attached to that you know to that guy and um and he wasn't for you anyway so just let it go you know what and hey wait for the next one to come along and just, you know, take that relationship, you know, take it slow. Just, hey, go out to dinner, you know, go and, and you know, and don't you go out to dinner. You're not paying your half of the dinner. If he asks you to take him out, take you out, to, if he asks you 
to go on a lunch date or a dinner date, then you know what? He should be footing that bill. I'm not into, you know, the 50-50 thing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a powerful black woman and um, I can take care of my own, my own self. You know, but I'm, yeah, but if a man, if he, you know, if he's going to, you know, want, he wants to take you out on a lunch date or dinner date, he's responsible for that. Don't you go digging into your purse, you know, because, you know, first of all, you're giving him, you're giving him signals that, oh, okay, okay, okay. So she's, she's that 50-50 woman. So, hey, good, good. That's, you know, that's what I'm looking for. No, you know, you sit back and you look pretty and you let him take care of that. And you go from there. So, and also, you know what, uh, being, you know, for when you're like really, really emotional and to learn to, to be less emotional, learn to uh, give yourself pep talks. You know, get in the mirror. And, uh, you know, if there's nobody to encourage you, hey, encourage yourself. Tell yourself, hey, I am, you know, I am worthy of a good man. I am worthy of a good relationship. And do that on a regular. Don't, you know, don't be uh, moping and dragging, you know, and woe is me and he left me and, 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 and I can't get anybody. Like I said, begin to, you know, write the things down that you, that you want for yourself. Leave the negativity, leave that out. Because you can have what you ask for. You can have what you want. So those are just a few things that, ladies, I, you know what? Uh, I just wanted to share with you about um, leveling up. And even when you, once you begin to level up in life, the financial part, it will come. Because like I said, you know what? You can always work on having, getting your own business, being your own boss, and then even having having a partner where, you know what, he's doing what, what needs to be done and which is allowing you to have a little bit of free money to be able to invest into, you know what, into your business. And, um, or even if there isn't, if there isn't anyone, you don't, if you don't have a man, Ladies, level up to the point, you know what, hey, work on, you know what, work on um, doing your own business until someone does come along. And then, you know, you, but still, you're going to keep your standards, you're going to keep, as a woman, as a lady, you're going to keep your standards high. He's not going to come in and just, you know, and, 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 you know, and just run over you and just don't allow that. Stand your grounds. And always to keep you know keep yourself together mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially. Don't just spend your money just you know um, on anything. You know, invest your money if anything. Invest your money and invest invest in it wisely. So. Just that, you know, those are just a few tips that I wanted to share with you guys. And um, that's another area. That's another way of enhancing your quality of life. You know, if you, if you're happier emotionally, phys physically, you're looking better, you're feeling better. And mentally, you got your head together, you know what you want. Like I said, don't worry about what you don't want. You know what? Get you get yourself a piece of paper and write some write some things down what you want and start speaking those things into existence and start looking for them to come to pass. Don't worry about how they're gonna come to pass. You know what? Just put it out there. This is this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. And trust me, you'll see you'll see things start to come your way. And always continue. To level up keep yourself leveled up keep yourself beautiful you know keep your makeup on i know some women like well i don't like makeup and um and i just want to look natural i'm gonna tell you if you get a man you know and and you and, and, and he's put up against a woman that has makeup on and she's beautiful and a woman that doesn't have makeup guess guess who he's gonna choose 
He's going to choose that woman with that makeup on. And she's looking pretty. So, anyway, guys, I uh, would love to hear your comments about leveling up. Uh, maybe you know what? You're doing something. You, and you you know what? Your standards. Let's hear it, guys. I would love to hear what you have to say. Like I said, but this is to my sisters. Just want to always tell you, ladies, keep yourselves, keep yourselves together. And remember to stay healthy, to stay well, and stay alive. And if you like this video, remember, subscribe, share, and like. That's it for now. Bye, guys.